Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Greedfall. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the bell icon so you guys know when the next one comes up. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe if you can, it really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Um, so quick recap, uh, we just spoke with our cousin, kind of told him what was going on with the ruins, more or less uh, our people have been here before, um, and it sounded like they got decimated by like a giant monster. So, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, but definitely, yeah. So, let's just go ahead. I think we're going to talk to uh, Admiral Cabral. Uh, she's Vasco's, uh, I guess, uh, superior. As always, we gotta loot everything. Come closer, good people. More shiny stuff. <laughs> I still feel like it's kind of like you go from one one shiny pile to the next. And you just keep going back and forth, back and forth. I think I've seen a shiny in here. Ah. Dang it. Now, hold on. Um, yeah, I can't do that. I need to. Uh, I do believe you can actually get lock picking from a workbench. So it's actually not even a skill that you need to invest in. Which I think is pretty interesting. It's a neat mechanic that you can just upgrade your armor or, or what have you, and it gives you a skill. It's kind of a different mechanic, at least. To Sarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Of course, it kind of. We, we always have to do something, right? Uh, let's see, so. Where does it want us to go? Oh, yeah. I guess let's go talk to him. I definitely feel like. This game has a lot to offer. You know, I do feel I, I, I've watched a couple other YouTubers do reviews and kind of what they thought of the game and where it kind of lacked. It. I think, in honestly, and I would say in the majority of what they said, I agree with. And, and the more majority of what I've seen is just that. I mean, some of the like interior textures are all the same. You know. It, uh, that's not really a major thing, but I mean, like the portraits, that's the same picture that everyone has. Everyone has that picture, everyone has that picture. You know, I mean, I understand this was made from a very small group of programmers, or a very small company, which makes sense. So, I mean, if, you know, you make something as detailed as this, you might want to, you know, obviously reuse it. Um, and that's not to say that in some future update or something that they won't address these issues. Um, uh, the other thing that's definitely a big thing is the lip syncing. It does seem to be better now. Um, so I imagine there's been an update or two between 
now, uh, my first video now, but, um, and then the very beginning, unfortunately, has the tendency to be very boring, in the fact that, I mean, it's, it's like four hours of just talking, you know, I mean, you don't fight anybody really, except those weird cultists that pop up at, you know, and it's not until you get to this continent that you actually start doing battles. It gets a little more exciting. Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Oh, he, he's upstairs, that's why. But I, I think, too, like, it doesn't make sense to me to have this door here. You know, I mean, it, it feels like when you go into these bigger buildings, there's so many different doors to open, and you have this little s cinematic every time you open the door. It, it kind of seems wasted, you know? Like, it, it, I get that they, they would have these doors, but I would imagine that they'd be open. You know, you, you wouldn't... <laughs> you wouldn't have them... You know, all over, all over the place, so. Who knows? Where is this guy? But I mean, other than the, like these small little details, I, I, you know, I actually really think that the game is pretty well put together. You know, I mean, it's got a very in-depth lore and story behind it. But the sad part is, is that you don't learn any of that until like you know a couple hours into the, the game. So I mean, I kind of feel like they could have done a little bit better, like kind of catch people in a little bit sooner, but, uh, I mean, like I said, that's kind of a minor, minor deal. And especially for a group of small uh, developers, it's, it's pretty ridiculously good. That is if I can find this guy. But yeah, I mean, so it's like down in there. I mean, how many doors do I have to go through and open? I don't know. What's this? Good day, Your Excellency. Well. Yeah, 
no idea where he is. But I do believe that if we go to his house, he can be part of our party, per se. So. child I'm happy that you are here I've had an idea that I wish to present to you please do I've known the mother cardinal for quite some time she is a formidable woman gifted and diplomatically skilled I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her and would like to give him a few weapons what do you have in mind diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette if we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me when you are ready. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. Okay, something like this. She is said she what was I'm bound about. by a pact that kept her here? from answering questions I'm on the subject. Through a, a the Norths are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. It's kind of. I suppose that she offering. wants something in exchange. Effectively, she told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme. And refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. But again, I, I think it's, it's something you, you can overcome. But Take care, you know, my it's, child. It's really weird when you're talking to someone and all of a sudden you're looking at a wallpaper or, or like in between the wallpaper and that, the mantelpiece or something. You know, it's kind of odd. Um, let's, let's go ahead and see about traveling. I mean, again, as I've said before, I don't feel like this is, it, it's not a deal breaker for me personally. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game a lot. However, I feel like it might be off-putting to a lot of players, just in the fact that, you know, if you want a game that you jump in, you start fighting people and stuff right away, you're not going to want to play a game that you have to spend a couple hours playing until you actually... You know, I mean, you, you have the training battle regiment or whatever with Kurt in the very beginning, and that's it. Alright, let's see. These don't do anything, but I believe this guy. Yeah, so you see right here the little star, it says science plus one. Vigor plus one, vigor plus one. Science and then lock picking. Now, if I get rid of the science, obviously, I lose. The building make potions, 
but I would be able to gain lock picking. So it, it's one of those things where it's kind of, mm, but then also with the gloves, these seem to just give you armor and balance. They don't give you anything else. Uh, boots. Yeah, they seem to be armor and balance as well. Okay. This is 24. 20% balance. So if I had these guys on, I upgraded them. 10 armor, 2 balance. Sorry, what, what was my head? 24 and 20. So if I can get something similar, I'd get more balance than that one, but lose a little armor. 24 and 19, 22 and 21. Yeah, I guess we could do this one. And then we can actually go ahead and. Oh, that's right. Let's do it in here. Power three for that one. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put these away. this would be better but again you need mental power three now I know you are able to basically respec yourself you have no available memory crystal so how do you get a memory crystal is the, the question Oh, there is actually an enemy detection. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know if the lamp actually... You know... Affects your stealth, per se. Okay, so I think what we might have to do is we might have to find a merchant um, and then kind of respect, or respect ourselves a little bit. Let's go ahead and see this merchant over here. 
see if, I mean, I know that they gave us one. But I mean, imagine you'd have to be able to, you know, All of our products are a Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Goodbye. Alright, well, he doesn't have it. Um, yeah, so I guess we want to talk to him. Uh, yes, so let's go ahead and head this way. This guy not so good. Apparently not. I think it's always something that's kind of irritating to me too, is if it's something that you know, like I mean like like in Borderlands per se, right? You you can respec at any given time. Uh, at least in Borderlands 3, you, know, you can just pay a little more every time. You, know, you kind of get punished for being indecisive or what have you. Whereas in some of these other games, you know, it's you're supposed to have a special item or or whatever, but it doesn't expressly tell you how to get said. Item. Or maybe it did. I just did not see it. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sarde. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your Admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared. And I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Norts like to be secretive, just like us. Guilds always are, but that does not make them heretics or poisonous. No, these priests are exaggerating. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Uh -huh. So it looks like the memory crystals are not something you can buy, but it is only something that you can basically earn by killing bosses. Kind of sounds like the zealots are out to get everybody. Or at least some of them. Good day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, 
That doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the knots are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the Inquisitors roaming around the island. Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to, you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. You know, the funny part for me too is these knots seem to always have someone kidnapping them. You know what I mean? My very first quest with them is to find who kidnapped one of their one of their deck hands. And then again, someone's kidnapping and murdering or kidnapping these knots. And no one knows why. Wrong, wrong side. We're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. Apparently this is not discreet enough. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. You know I have Mother Cardinal's ear. Is she aware of your initiatives? I, I... I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these Intuition were arrested. Very good skill to get. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But, as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. Well, all right, everybody. Um, I think, sadly, we're going to have to stop the episode here. But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Um, if you are, please hit the like button and hit the bell icon so you know when I upload in the next video. Um, I think we're going to have to slow up a little bit on the uploads. I probably won't be able to mass produce 20 episodes a day um, after uh, this evening. So uh, we'll probably move them up to just one a day. Or maybe two a day, depending on how things go. 
But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying um, the series again. Um, and definitely hit the bell icon so you know when the next one's going to come. Uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> it really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Alright guys, we'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.